plumberparts.co.uk. Honest reviews and advice. Sponsored by heatandplum.com. Word and welcome to this plumberparts.co.uk video. This is the last video of this particular set of episodes all about how to install a wash basin. If you want to know anything about the previous things, go back through the videos and you'll see them there. This particular bit is about installing the waste. It's the last part, uh, so let's get all that done and hopefully have it running by the end of the video. Right, so here's our outlet waste here. We've got our popping waste that we did earlier. We've got all our pipes in that we did earlier, our two valves, and here's the waste outlet here. Let's first have a look at the sealing components of the trap. This is known as a P-trap. So the sealing part here, you've got a rubber ring, and that seals on the bottom of this metal thread here, but also sits around a collar in there. Generally, you won't have to take this off, but I'm only doing it for demonstration purposes. So that will sit up on there like that and seal really well on there. On this end, we've got the compression fitting end. And how this works is you have a slip collar where you're tightening up this nut. If this slip collar wasn't here, it would drag on this rubber bit here, which is the bit that causes the, the seal. So the slip collar goes in there, the rubber flange seal goes in there, your pipe will go in and around that, that inner circle, around there like that. The seal sits around in there like that, and that's where it causes a seal. A slip collar goes on there, the nut goes on there, and that tightens up and causes a great seal. Uh, for all the other fittings, I'm actually going to use uh, glue fittings today, uh, solvent well ones, all right? Uh, if you want to know how to use those, go back to our video page and we've got a, a video up there for you on how to use solvent uh, weld fittings for waste. So the first bit we're going to do here anyway is attach this P-trap and then we've got a rough idea of the bits of pipe we need to cut and where to put our elbows and stuff to match these two up together. So let's pop that up on there. So let's get that in there like that. Right, so what we're going to need here to get this bit done is two elbows. So we'll have one elbow popped on there like that and we'll need another one put in here about there. So all I need to do now is cut my pipes to length, uh, glue them in, get them so they're popping into this, uh, this compression fitting here, tighten that up, wait five minutes for the uh, solvent weld to go off and then hopefully I can turn these two valves on and test for leaks. Right, are you ready? Are you set? We're going to turn it on and see if it works. No leaks so far. Oh yeah, yeah. Did it run around? Nice and hot. Cold. Yeah. Pull this old boy. Is it up or down? Push it down. Oh yeah. There we go. No leaks down here, nothing at all. We shut the uh, shut the plug and now we test this overflow. Okay, so it's going up over that overflow and that will mean we're testing our plumber's vape bit we did a few videos ago. Let's run in there now. That's feeding it nicely. That's great. Well, as you can see, all is well. So there you go, it's all done. The basin, hot works fine. All the way straight away well. Switch over to the two, nice little mix attack. Our pop-up waste works well on the back bit, and it's all done. I am so happy. If you need any more help or any more advice, visit our website at plumberparts.co.uk. If you feel like you've missed anything, we've missed anything out or anything like that, let us know through our comments list or just message us directly. Remember to subscribe. Thanks ever so much for watching. I'll see you soon. Blah,
plumberparts.co.uk. Honest reviews and advice. Sponsored by heatandplum.com.